I want to make an announcement. In my opinion, Lowell, Massachusetts is now the most interesting city in the United States of America. It was in Centerville I was born. In Pawtucketville, I saw Dr. Sachs across the wide basin to the hill. On Lupine Road, March 1922, at five o'clock in the afternoon of a red all over supper time. As drowsily beers were tapped in Moody and Lakeview saloons and the river rushed with her cargoes of ice over reddened, slick rocks. And on the shores, the reeds swayed among mattresses and cast-off boots of time. And lazily pieces of snow dropped pluck from bagging branches of black, thorny, oily pine in their thaw. And beneath the wet snows of the hillside, receiving the sun's lost rays, the melts of winter mixed with roars of Merrimack, I was born. Bloody rooftop, strange deed. All eyes, I came hearing the river's red. I remember that afternoon. I perceived it through beads hanging in a door and through lace curtains and glass of a universal sad lost redness of mortal damnation. The snow was melting. The snake was coiled in the hill, not my heart. Proust and Joyce are the greatest 20th century writers. Joyce was going to sit by the sea. He was blind, remember? He was going to sit by the sea and write the sounds of the sea, and he died, and he didn't do it, so I did it for him. Follow the great rivers on the maps of South America, origin of Dr. Sachs. Trace your Putumayos to a Napo further Amazonian junction. Map the incredible uncrossable jungles, the southern piranhas of a maze. Stare at the huge crook of a continent bulging with an Arctic Antarctic. To me, the Merrimack River was a mighty Napo of continental importance, the continent of New England. She fed from some snake-like source with Maw's approach, and wide, welled from the hidden dank came, named Merrimack. Into the winding weirs in Franklin Falls, the Winnipesaukees of Nordic Pine, and Albatrosian grandeur, the Manchesters, Concords, Plum Islands of Time, the thunderous husher of our sleep at night. 
I could hear it rise from the rocks in a groaning whoosh, ululating with the water. Sprosh, sprosh, oom, oom, zoo. All night long, the river says zoo, zoo. Stars are fixed in rooftops like ink. Merrimack. Dark name, sported dark valleys. My Lowell had the great trees of antiquity in the rocky north waving over lost arrowhead and Indian scalps. The pebbles on the slate cliff beach are full of hidden beads and were stepped on barefoot by Indians. Merrimack comes swooping from a north of eternities, falls pissing over locks, crack and froths on rocks, bloth, and rolls frowing to the lake, combed in dew pile stone, holes slaty sharp. We dove off, cut our feet, summer afternoon stinky hookies, rocks full of ugly old suckers not fit to eat the crap from sewage, and dives, and you swallowed mouthfuls of the chokeful water. By moonlight night, I see the mighty Merrimack foaming in a thousand white horses upon the tragic plains below. Dream. Wooden sidewalk planks of Moody Street Bridge fall out. I hover on beams over rages of white horses in the roaring low, moaning onward. Armies and cavalries of charging Euplantus Eudronicus King Grey is looped and curly like artists' work. And with clay soul snow, curly cue rooster togas in the forefront, I had a terror of those waves, those rocks. <laughs> <laughs> 